this is the connect this so this is the connection for the star and the delta arrangement as you can see over here this is the supply r y and b that is there and this is the three phase auto transformer so show this is the this is the three phase auto transformer so you can see the input of the auto transformer and this auto transformer is connected from back side here this uh, auto transformer is connected to the main supply over there so you can see uh, this is the main supply that has been connected here here we can see this is r y and b that is being connected over there and now what we have to do is that this connection this connection r y and b supply has to be given to the auto transformer so first we will give r R to R R to R after that Y to Y Y to Y So make sure that the connections are tight then D to B. B to B. And neutral to neutral. This neutral. So once this connection has been done, then we have to leave this connection. Okay, don't give connection to this. Then there's nothing doing. This connection is just finished. Then no connection here. Okay, you are people are confusing. You are giving connections here and all. So this is the first part. This is the input part. Where is R? input auto transformer input part it will go after that there is no connection here after that connections are from output so the output connections as you can see are from here after that there won't be any connection here so it will start from here see if you see look at the circuit r there is a line emitter line emitter is connected between here see red red color uh, if you are getting confused u1 and u2 so you can write this red color one R and R. Okay, see here. U1 is in red. U1 is in red. Then the second connection here, you can see this V1 and V2. Show there. V1 and V2 is in yellow. So you can write V1 and V, uh, Y1 and Y2. Okay. Then there's one more connection over there. That is W. W is in blue. So you can write B1 and B2. Okay. So this is V1 and V2. So like this also yellow red yellow or uh, uh, blue you can keep now one more thing is there now how this connection starts see here this is the red r connection it is connected to a line emitter line emitter another end is connected to u1 and u2 which is basically the r r red color one u and this connection between u1 and u2 this is given this if you do there would be a short circuit so this would be wrong so from here we will start here the look so I am taking my R I am giving to the line emitter show to the circuit diagram from little far so here you can see everything huh? R so I am taking this R and I am coming as per the circuit diagram I am connecting to the look at the circuit diagram guys in your notebook I am connecting to I line emitter so after given I line emitter here the second part of the iLine emitter here, here you show. Second part of the iLine emitter. Good morning. I'm, I'm recording a video. Second part of the iLine emitter is going to U1. Second part is going to. You follow me, but I don't I'm not I'm just taking a video. Show you. Uh, 
connected to U1. Show this. Show U1. Show. Go a little down and show those. Ah, U1, V1, W1. Okay, yeah. Leave it. So it will be connected to U1. Okay, now this has been done. This has been connected to U1. Here you can look. Now here you see the U2 part, the second part of U2. First, all the connections will connect in series. First from R, we will finish the circuit in series. Then from Y, we will finish the circuit in series. Then for B, we will finish the circuit in series. Then once we have done the series connection, we can arrange a voltmeter between R and Y and then another voltmeter between U1 and U2 like this we will be doing. So the second part of this uh, uh, is going uh, of ammeter is getting connected to U2. So the second emitter will be connected to U2. So this U2 you can see. This would be the face emitter. Okay, so here it is getting connected to U2. And <laughs> you can see this V1 and W2 over here. Uh, V1 and V2, okay, V2 and W1 over here, V2 and W1 need to be shorted, show that, so this V2 and W1, okay, so I will be shorting, take from that side, V2 and W1 I will short here and the other connection of face emitter is going to this short another connection is going to this short this connection has been done now this now this R connection I have completed show here R connection has been completed now why R connection you see R to line emitter line emitter to U1 and then U2 to another emitter this emitter to V2 and W1 that is shorted now you see from Y I'll take directly and connect here Y to V1 so from Y this Y means this so you see guys once I have given this connection this input connection I have done nothing with that so don't get confused never give this output connections there most of you are making this mistake now Y I will connect and give to V1 Y I have connected and given to V1 and similarly I will connect my B and Q to W2. B over here. B I have collected and given to W2. Once I have done this, the series part of the connection is over. Here you can see the series part of the connection is over. Okay. R, Y and B I have connected. Now only thing is the left is uh, line voltmeter between R and Y and between U1 and U2 a phase voltmeter that I am going to connect now. Here, first part is between this is the face. Sorry, 
this I need to connect to line. Where is the line voltage? V line. Okay, now the phase connection is between this is between U1 and U2. So, this I can give for the time being. This is U1, and that part is between U1 and U2. Like this, I can give U1 and U2. So, this is the connection what I have done. So this is the entire connection which has been done. Now you make sure that your circuit is tight mm. and switch on the supply. Mm. Here you see. Now I'll be increasing my voltage so as you can see there is a mistake here wait one second okay. line current is not showing here yes. Line current is not showing. Break current is not showing. Break current is not showing. Line current is not showing. 